beauty standards are different all around the world. In China, they were practicing a foot binding because it's a symbol of status and social standing. In Iran, you will often see young women and men proudly sporting bandage on their nose. Women of the Myanmar tribe are well known for wearing a neck rings from their young age. But what makes a Russian woman beautiful, and how do the Russians value its beauty? When someone thinks of a beautiful Russian woman, they often think of a tall, thin, blonde-haired, blue-eyed Russian girl. But they often forget that Russia is an ethnically diverse country. The Russian Federation consists of 85 federal subjects, more than 190 ethnic groups, speaking many languages and following many religious and cultural traditions. So, since Russia is geographically is the largest country in the world, this leads to the different standards of beauty. So, women in northwestern Russia, they normally have a European features. Women in the southern Russia, they more likely have a, a darker skin feature. They more look like a southern European and Central Asian woman. And women in the eastern part of Russia, they more likely looks like an Asian like me. So I am from the far eastern part of Russia and as you already know from the coldest place on earth, Republic of Saha Yakutia. So Yakutian women have their own beauty standards as well. As we can see from the history and from the book, the Yakutian woman has been always associated to the concept of a beautiful flower. So the beauty of Yakutian woman is, was not only expressed in appearance, but also was in a good temper, in a pure thoughts, and also how she speaks. They usually had a very natural appearance with the long hair and maybe with the whiter skin. But when Russians started their conquest to the uh, Yakutia, in the 17th century, Yakutia became a part of the Russian Federation. So in Yakutia, we have a health population of uh, Yakutian people and also the health population of Russian people. And uh, therefore, you can meet a lot of mixed families which has a mixed child. It's indeed, you can see that the mixed child, they looks very, they have a really unique appearance. They have usually uh, Asian features and with the uh, light eyes, like with the uh, blue or green eyes. So nowadays the Yakutian beauty standards is, of course, is a change from the traditional ones. And now the people think that uh, the beautiful Yakutian girl is who has a whiter skin, who has uh, some maybe more European features, and maybe who has a lighter eyes. But of course, uh, in Russia, we have some concepts of the uh, Russian beauty standards, and it's about the uh, being a tall and thin, uh, with the hourglass figure, and also uh, filled lips, high cheekbones. So Russian women traditionally dressed more feminine, and they always have in their wardrobe, uh, you can see they have a lot of dresses and skirts. And also, uh, maybe you hear it many times that Russian woman never appears in public without makeup or without a high heels. I have my sister who has uh, who has been always going out to the grocery with the high heeled boots and with the makeup. And it's also a belief that the Russian woman is taking out the trash with the uh, makeup and the high heel. So looking your best, it's kind of normal in Russia, and you can meet a lot of beautiful women on the streets in Russia. And uh, Russian women is, are in kind of a habit of taking care of their appearance. I think it's kind of uh, nice to see a lot of beautiful women on the streets in Russia. Uh, you can be inspired and see how they are. Of course, they are not only taking care of their appearance, they also taking care of their family, they are working hard. So one reason why Russians, they hold their women to have a high beauty standards it's uh, because general competition between women to get a man in russia men are significantly less than women so many soviet men during the world war they died and they didn't back uh, to their families and in 1950s they were just a 76 men to a hundred women but now it's become more and more equal and i think uh, nowadays the russian women they are not competing the men anymore i think they are competing with themselves and because they have a high uh, beauty standards and uh, and when the another russian woman see another beautiful uh, georgia's russian woman they uh, they just want to look better and they look better for themselves. 
also a high standards of beauty in Russia. It's uh, almost in every aspect of our culture. The exterior and interior of the buildings, museums, churches, and the architecture are often curated in gold, in many, many gold. So Russians always love the extravagant lifestyle. But I personally think the beauty is not something you can see, it's something you can feel. And my own ideas of the beauty standards is not something I can see in the magazine or in advertisements. I think it's something beautiful in the movements, in the voice, in the attitudes. Also, I think a lot of factors makes a person beautiful is to be a kind, a soulful, a positive uh, and helpful. And also sometimes I like my body because uh, today I have a good mood, but someday I could don't like my face and my body. But generally, I think my appearance don't define me at all. So I hope you like this video and if you have your own beauty standards uh, in your own country, you can share with your opinion and with your thoughts uh, in the comments and we can discuss about it. So see you in the next video. Bye bye!